guys. I just wanted to come on here and say thank you for all of your prayers and, and support and concern of us as, um, uh, as we're going through a difficult time now. And, um, and I know it's not just our family. I've, I've heard that many people are going through, um, persecutions right now. Um, they're going through their own trials and testing. Um, many people are having sickness befall them and deaths in the family and all kinds of things of this nature. And so, um, this video is for you. And, um, uh, and I know that it's not all about me and I know that, uh, uh, that we're together, you know, we're the body of Christ and, and we stick together on these things. And, um, and it's so beautiful to witness because, uh, I think that, um, you know, it's one of those things where the people of the world, um, I don't know what they do. I mean, the people who have no hope, the ones who, who don't know that there is a God, even, you know, if we can get that basic on it, um, and, uh, so I just wanted to say thank you. And, and from my heart, you know, to yours, um, uh, it's so much appreciated and, and I, I can't even put it into words how, um, how beautiful that that really is. And, uh, but I wanted to say also, um, our sister Lorraine Dixon has reached out to me in the last couple of days and she has said that, um, the doctors are not giving her much hope that they're saying that she's towards the end of her sickness and there's not much more that they can do for her. And, uh, but we know that the great physician is the one who has the final word on that. And how many times have the doctors been wrong? Like they'll say that, um, that someone's not going to make it, but another couple of months. And, and that was 12 years ago and they're still with us. And so, we're holding out for a miracle and we know that it can be so if it's the Lord's will, um, you know, that, that, that Lorraine could still be part of those alive that remain that see the coming of the Lord. Um, because we know that that could be any day now and we know that we're close. Um, and so that's what we're praying for is a miracle for her that she will be healed and, and that she'll be comforted and, and without pain and that the Lord will send his mighty angels to, uh, to minister into her very soul that, um, that she could be comforted during this time and hopefully at least, um, not be in pain. And, uh, I, I got some, some verses written down here because I got to thinking about the, uh, what it says in Ephesians chapter six, um, and it's talking about the spiritual armor, right? The full armor of God. And, um, most of it is for protection, right? Like our, our helmet of, um, salvation, our breath, breastplate of righteousness and our shield of faith and, um, girding our waist about with truth and our feet shod with the peace preparedness of the gospel. But there is a weapon that we have and it's the sword of the spirit. And that is the word of God. And, um, even Jesus, when he was being tempted in the wilderness by the devil, um, um, did not fight with a with a sword, but with the word of God, and uh, he rebuked Satan, and um, and he would say, "For it is written, for it is written," and um, and that's what we need to do, guys, and uh, and to be more Christ-like as we go, and to have more fruits of the Spirit. But even with the uh, the full armor of God, to know that we have a weapon that the rest of the world doesn't. Um, doesn't even really know exists. I mean, they think it's a, a couple of thousand year old book that, um, that has no power, but we know it to be, um, uh, a powerful weapon and, and the only really weapon that we have even in the spiritual, um, is the word of God. And so I find comfort, um, in a lot of these verses that I'm going to read with you guys. And I hope that Lorraine, if you're listening, that, um, that this will comfort you during your time of need. Um, and, uh, Ecclesiastes says that everything, um, has a purpose and a time, right? Everything, um, under the sun, so to speak, and a time of, uh, to die, a time to live, a time to rejoice, a time to be sorrowful. Um, and all of these things have a purpose unto heaven. And, and so Ecclesiastes chapter seven, verse one says, a good name is better than precious ointment and the day of death better than the day of birth. And Ecclesiastes 12, seven says, and the dust returns to the earth as it was. And the spirit returns unto God who gave it. And um, in 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verses 6 through 8, it says, So we are of good courage. We know that while we are at home in the body, we are away from the Lord. For we walk by faith and not by sight. We are confident, I say, and willing rather to be absent from the body is to be present with the Lord. 
Amen. And um, uh, First Thessalonians chapter four verse thirteen says. But I would not have you be ignorant, brethren, concerning them which sleep, that you sorrow, not even as others who have no hope. And um, that's like what we were talking about before, guys, that, um, you know, people without hope in the world, you know, that can't even have faith enough to believe that um, that we didn't make ourselves or, or that aliens didn't make us or something like that. But to have faith to realize that... Um, that all of this was made by someone and someone with a lot of intelligence and someone with a lot of love um, and someone who made us in his own image um, and that God is real. And, um, but many don't believe this. And so you never know, you know, which chapter or which verse might speak to someone. Um, but I know that in first Thessalonians four thirteen, where it says um, that, you know, just talking about people who are grieving when someone dies that, um, and I know it's difficult guys. It is when someone passes, but we, it's not like that we're without hope. Like these other people are think about how sad that is. And I think about it many times, you know, how do these ministers even get up and preach someone's funeral that they know, um, was not a Christian that wasn't born again. Um, it would have to be one of the most difficult things because what words of comfort really can be said when we know the truth? Um, you know, we can state the facts that ashes are to ashes and dust to dust and that these things are so. But um, uh, in either case, guys, uh, we have that hope and he is our blessed hope. And that's why we're looking up because we know that the Lord's return is so near it, and even so as to where, um, you know, I hope that, that Lorraine, that it is the Lord's will for her to be with us as part of that select group that, um, was chosen for such a time as this, um, like that we feel like that we are, um, chosen for a time as this. I really feel like that, uh, the rapture could be any day and I know it won't tarry forever. I mean, what does the book of Habit could say that um, the vision speaks of the end. It's for an appointed time, um, just like Ecclesiastes says, a time for every purpose under heaven. Um, and so 2 Timothy chapter 2 verse 11 says, for it is a faithful saying, for if we be dead with him, we also shall live with him. And um, Philippians 3, 20 and 21 says, for our conversation is in heaven from whence also we look for the Savior, the Lord Jesus Christ, who shall change our vile body, that it may be fashioned like unto his glorious body, according to the working whereby he is able even to subdue all things unto himself. Amen. And uh, Philippians chapter 1 verse 21 says, For me to live is Christ and to die is gain. And that's the Apostle Paul speaking there. Um, Leviticus 17, 11 says for the life of the flesh is in the blood and I have given it for you on the altar to make atonement for your souls for it is in the blood that makes atonement by the life. And I think that's beautiful guys. And, and of course, you know, that's when Moses had given the law to the people and, um, was talking about how to do the sacrifices on the altar. And yet it's a foreshadow of, um, Jesus on the cross being the sacrifice, um, for the sins of the whole world. Just like, uh, what it says in John three sixteen that God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever shall believe in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. And, um, in John chapter 14, verses one through three, it says, let not your hearts be troubled. You believe in God, believe also in me for in my father's house, there are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you, I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go to prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself that where I am there, you may be also. And I know I've heard that preached many times at a, at the funerals of, of some of our brothers and sisters in Christ that have gone on to, to be with the Lord ahead of us. And, um, they'll be the first, uh, to rise in the rapture. So, um, it will be a grand reunion guys. Um, and also in Romans 14, eight, it says, whether we live or whether for whether we live, we live unto the Lord and whether we die, we die unto the Lord. 
Whether we live, therefore, or die, we are the Lord's. Amen. So I, I hope that that gives you all comfort today. Um, know that it says in Psalms 116 that um, precious in the sight of the Lord is the death of his saints. And, um, you know, so whether we live or whether we die, guys, um, we're going to be with Jesus and, and, and we're going to fly soon. And so um, tell everybody that, you know, um, to accept him today if they haven't, because I know that this is going to be soon. I, I don't know a day or an hour. Um, it, the scripture says that no man will, um, but I do know that it's soon and because we know what to look for because he told us ahead of time and all these things are coming to pass, just right and left, guys. It's all over the place. So um, prophecy for those of us who love the uh, eschatology um, and study in end days prophecies, then we know. Um, but even the world has got to be seeing that there's something going on that that something's getting ready to happen and it's miraculous so um i love you guys and uh, i'll keep you posted on what's going on with us and uh, i'm sure we'll talk real soon